The list of church burglaries here in the Inglewood area getting longer tonight. We told you about 19 break-ins dating back nearly a year now, and we're finding out yet another church was hit. 7 News reporter Lindsay Watts is live right now. Lindsay, the story there is similar to so many of these others. And leaders here at Chrysler Thrun say they saw a report on Friday about that long list of break-ins police are now trying to solve. They say it made them realize what happened here was in no way an isolated case. He broke in that door and uh, broke, used a sledgehammer to break this window. When the thief got inside the church office, he used that sledgehammer again here. Went to the safe. Of course, it's right there in plain sight. The safe held up, so the crook grabbed about 12 bucks in petty cash and, in a desperate move, he uh, broke a little piggy bank and took the coins that might have been $3. It happened about five months ago here, but break-ins have continued since then at many other nearby churches. Mayflower Congregational had to repair its door after a thief broke it down and raided another piggy bank, a cardboard one. And they stole about $40 cash. Money children had been raising for the needy. If you're breaking into a to a 110-year-old church uh, to get cash, you've you've got a pitiful problem. Inglewood police released photos of this man caught on camera breaking into another church near Broadway in Hamden. They want to find him and see if he could be linked to other cases. While thieves won't find much in terms of cash at houses of worship, at, at least at one church target says time, it can offer uh, something else. Everything can be forgiven, um, and we would forgive him if he truly repented of what he'd done. While the thief here got away with less than 20 bucks, that person caused more than $1,000 in damages. Luckily, most of it was covered by insurance. Live near Inglewood, Lindsay Watts, 7 News.